Hello everyone, it's me Ari Dalset, Comrade Rashid, I'm an anthropologist and sociologist. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, become a member of the channel. Don't forget, donate the links below. If you wish to contribute to the funding of my PhD, write PhD with your donation and check my novels on Amazon. Okay, quick video. There is nothing wrong with praying, decreeing and declaring and fasting. All those things we should be doing. As a matter of fact, we should pray without ceasing, which simply means we have to be spiritually active continuously. Spiritual activity should be your lifestyle, not just something you do occasionally. Just understand that just doing spiritual activity will not get any results in here and now. You also have to act in the physical while you're doing spiritual activity. For example, if you are unmarried and you want to marry, okay, are you going to stay inside your house, laying on your lace, laying on your bed? Uh, never contact other people, never go on social events and expect a spouse to appear out of thin air. No, that's not how it goes. You pray, decree, declare. You make sure you are suitable for marriage by having the right attitude and the right perspective. And by you being a, a proper match, eventually you will meet a match that suits you. Where? When, when you're out there. If you want to go and do dating apps, that's up to you. I prefer you go in real life to meet people. Anyway, you have to be out there. Okay, another thing. Let's say um, you want a job. Are you going to wake up one day and suddenly a job is at your front door? No. You have to apply for jobs. And while you apply for jobs, you pray, decree, declare so that you find the right job. So you can avoid traps. Another thing. Let's say you're concerned about your relatives. Are you going to be concerned about your relatives just so that? No. You are going to pray, decree, declare on their behalf. And from time to time you check on them. By checking on them, you stay updated what goes on in their lives. And now you know what you can intervene with in the spirit. What I'm saying is, you cannot be so focus on praying, decreeing, declaring, and fasting that you're not physically active in here now anymore. That's not biblical. Faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. That faith simply comes down to you not acting on your spiritual activity. Now, don't get this twisted. It's not you acting on it that guarantees the outcomes. You acting on it guarantees that things are flowing. And the Heavenly Father manages the outcomes. You have to do your part. Your part is to be both spiritually active and also to be active in the physical. Even pagans understand this. A pagan, let's say a witch, is, isn't just burning candles, burning sage, and citing weird songs in her house. Or dancing naked in the forest once in a while. She's not only just doing uh, rituals. She's also going out there. If she wants to start a new business, she does her investigation. She tries to connect with other people who have experience in, business, in doing business. The charm is an empowerment that makes it easier for her to do things. You see that? The charm makes it easier for her to do certain things. But she still has to do them. Because if she's not doing them, what's the use of getting a charm? So even pagans understand that their daily activity matters. There is this exception amongst many believers that they don't have to be physically active in the here and now. And then the believers think that it's all about the physical activity. No. Christ said, apart from me, you could do nothing. But here's the thing. You're still doing things. But you're doing it under its guidance. It's not Christ doing everything for you. No, you are active on his guidance and in agreement with him, things get accomplished and established through you. That's how it goes. So, you still need to be active in the physical. Now, they, I'm not saying that your activity itself will guarantee all the good outcomes to take care of everything else. No, that's not true. Your activity is part of the process. Because remember, even pagans that do spells... A spell is when you trigger a movement in the earth without you being a part of it. And that is quite risky for both yourself and other people. Because there are all types of side effects coming with it. 
with decreeing and declaring, fasting and praying, you're triggering movements in the earth that you are part of. So because you're part of the movement, you have to be acting while you pray, decree, fast, fasting, and do all of that. So you cannot be praying, decreeing, fasting, declaring, and you're not acting, because then you're sabotaging yourself. Do not sabotage yourself, believers. Well, that's it for now. Keep on agreeing with Christ and be at peace.